Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cattails Beta here with Creek who is on her journey searching for the legends of the ancient swimming cats of her lineage. And right now she has found herself swept away by the river into a whole new land. And she is here in the mystic cat colony getting pretty darn hungry actually. So we're going to go ahead and let her leave the colony for now. It looks like they have an actual fence. What the heck? Oh my Oh my gosh, I wonder if this was somebody's like old garden with all of these awesome ruin pieces. They probably, this probably was like somebody's old garden that the mystic cat colony has just moved into. I wonder if they were still here when people were here or if they moved in a long time after they were gone. Oh, look, I think there's a fish, guys. I want it. Yes, we got it. Okay, now get out of the water creek. All right, so we managed to get a little fish. Let's go ahead and eat him. So there's the trout and we can go ahead and eat him. There we go. We're still a little bit hungry. Maybe we can chase down this butterfly. Oh, I got it. All right, good job, Creek. Good job. Oh, look at that butterfly. Yes, we got it. We killed it, which maybe isn't the best thing in the world, but at least that means we'll have some food. And let's see if we can get this frog. Oh, come on, come on, you can do it, Creek sprint we got him okay and we still managed to chase down the frog so we have managed to feed creek and keep her alive for the day if she reaches zero hunger i do think she actually will die and i do not want to lose creek because we just finally started her adventure here in the mystic cat colony we've barely even done anything and that would be quite tragic so we are going to have to focus on some of the basic skills like improving her hunting definitely what i'm going to do right now actually let's go ahead and upgrade her hunting and we're gonna have to keep her alive through going around every morning. And even though she wants to spend a lot of her time querying the other cats and asking them about the legends that she originally left her home seeking out. And I wanna explore the amazing expanded world of cattails. Look at all of this. Oh, there's a crow. And here's a beautiful willow tree. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh. There's so much more for us to explore. The map has expanded so much. Look at this willow tree, it's so pretty. And there's all these dead trees over here. Oh, those of you who have played Untold Tales will understand why suddenly I'm really having to restrain myself from scratching at the dead trees to see if we can get moss. Oh, we got another trout. Good job. Wow. It looks like she definitely is a natural fish hunter, which is probably why she wants to find out more about the ancient cats, her, her great ancestors, who were some of the first cats who really learned how to conquer their fear of water, dive right in, and become come home like comfortable and at home no matter what kind of water or how fast the current was that they swam in so that's creek's goal you guys is actually seeking out that family lineage trying to find out her history the history of the cats that she's a part of not drowning creek get out of the water get out of the water oh my gosh and hopefully not drowning in a bog. So yeah, we've got to kind of focus on the basics though before we can get into those deep legends. So hopefully as we continue to hunt these little pond fish, we'll gain some experience points that we can use to also upgrade her fishing. Or excuse me, swimming, not fishing. <laughs> I mean, that would help us with fishing, probably. But when we upgrade our swimming skill, which is what Creek is going to specialize in, it will help us to float atop bodies of water. At higher levels, a cat will take less damage from sustained exposure to water and paddle faster, allowing them to fight even the swiftest currents, which would be very, very helpful because right now we're just playing in little muddy puddles that are actually proving to be almost too much for us, which is kind of embarrassing. Yes! Oh, we scared the fish. Dang it. I, I didn't leap. I just got overexcited. Oh, let's get this butterfly. There we go. Maybe the butterflies would be a good gift to the colony leader. I think Creek feels a little bit weird not being able to befriend the colony leader of the colony that has kind of like begrudgingly almost by accident taken her in after she literally got swept into the colony by a river. Let's see. Can I get that fish? Let's wait and see if he can get a little bit closer. I'm worried. Oh, no, we missed him. All right, but we're slowly and surely learning how to safely swim in these tiny little ponds without drowning. So that's a good thing. But let's go see if we can find... Oh, and there's Slip. We didn't get to greet Slip. So they gave us this treehouse right here. So this is our little den, and they said that we're welcome to it. Perhaps there's not as many cats in this colony as they wish there were. So we can do whatever we want with this little den, and we have a neighbor who also has a den right over here. So let's meet Slip and see if he happens 
tends to have masks or horns or any of the other weird things that some of the mystic colony cats do. Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? You're a strange looking one. Where are you from? I don't think I've met you before. My name's Slip. Be seeing you around. Huh. Kind of a, a cat of few words. We have a salamander and a bass. Ooh, big bass. Ooh, and look at the iridescent butterfly. A rare summer butterfly with a shining multicolored body. Light refracts suddenly upon its dazzling wings. <gasps> I think that Creek would be so fascinated with that. She is at heart a little bit of a treasure hunter. That's actually why she is seeking out the legend of the swimming cats because she's going to be our little treasure explorer, exploring in the mines, exploring alongside the beach, and basically trying to find all of the treasures that are available in the cattails world. And you guys did request, and we will talk about Silver playing in the mountain colony with a cat named Silver, who will be focused entirely on romance. So we'll talk about that later, but for now, let's see if we can befriend some of the other cats here. Um... Okay, what should I do? Let's try let's try giving him the, sal uh, the salmon, just because we're trying to be super friendly. All right. Hey, that's a great gift. I love these, Creek. Thanks. All right. Wonderful. Uh, make sure you clean your fur out on a regular basis. Don't want any nasty thorns and brambles in it when you go to lay down at night. Now, that's very practical information. Is that is that kind of like a like watching out for us elderly sort of thing? And I don't know if we should actually get those fireflies or not. It would be really fun, but I wonder if the fireflies of Mystic Colony represent like the ancestors. Would killing some fireflies literally get us thrown out by the leader? I don't want that to happen either. Oh, there's Alicia. Alicia! Oh, we missed her. Dang it. What's inside her den? The inside is decorated with exquisite baubles and colorful shells from faraway lands. Aha! It sounds like the mystic cat colony leader does indeed know where to find some of the shiny, sparkly treasures that Creek is actually searching out that her family has been passing down from swimming cat to swimming cat for ages. Alright, Mossy, you're up really late. Hmm? Oh, hello. The clouds are interesting shapes today, aren't they? Uh, are you sure you want to talk to me? All right, hang in there, Mossy. Let's see. Let's try giving her some marigold. And how does that go? Uh, give marigold. Why do you have... Oh, is that for me? Thank you. Oh, that's so friendly. I, I actually wrote the dialogue for Mossy, but I forgot what she says. So I'm, I'm consistently charmed by figuring it out. All right, so I want to be friends with Savannah. Oh, actually, I want to be friends with Savannah so much. I think that Savannah... Today's a perfect day to go exploring and find someplace new. I think Savannah and Creek could actually be really good friends. And I think she liked the golden seal we gave her last time. So let's try giving that to her again. I seriously love this. You're the best, Creek. Oh, yay. Okay, so that seems to be going pretty well. But all right, let's have Creek go ahead and go to sleep. She is beginning to poke around... The mystic cat colony. We're beginning to have her work on some of her basics. She's just a young cat after all, so it shouldn't be very surprising that she's not quite that talented at hunting and fishing and swimming and everything just yet. But she's full of curiosity and eagerness and will hopefully be able to take on the big world without hesitation. So speaking of the big world, let's actually look and let's see how big the map is. So let's see. We have, oh, and the swamp border. There's a battle going on at the swamp border. I wonder who they're fighting. It seems like Forest Colony is actually some of the most contested fighters that we have. And this map represents the politics of all of the various cat colonies that are in our world. All of the green space that you see belongs to Forest Colony or is the contested areas that Forest Colony is trying to control. All of the blue areas belong to the Mountain Colony or are all of the contested areas that the mountain colony is trying to control and all of the red and pink areas happen to be ours and it looks like mystic colony has a big influence kind of down here by the beaches which is very interesting to me and definitely through these swamps and there's a big prairie land so let's go take a peek at the prairie land today i feel like that might be pretty beneficial to us and we should probably eat do we have a fish we do have a fish let's go ahead and eat the bass all right, so now we're nice and full. We'll say good morning to Slip in a little bit, but I feel like, I feel like 
You know, Creek doesn't really know what to do with herself just yet. She probably wants to get the attention of the leader of this this group. And if she saw a whole bunch of seashells and a whole bunch of fancy baubles inside of the leader's den, then maybe we'll go look for some fancy baubles today and hopefully gain the attention of Alicia. I think Alicia, Alicia, I'll have to look at her name again. Because you want to be in good with the leader if you want to feel like you could be safe and kind of protected in an area that you're trying to seek sanctuary in. And I just really feel like Creek would want to make triple sure that she's allowed to stay there, that she's not going to get tossed out by accidentally offending the leader. Also, I need to work on the jump. I always mess up my little jumps. Oh, there's a mouse. Oh, Creek, get it. Yes, all right, we got the little mouse. So there's this big, beautiful prairie with a few ponds that might have some fish for us on occasion, some mice and crows. All right, let's go see if we can find our new colony leader. Oh, hello, Shade. How are you? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our borders safe and secure. Oh, interesting. So Creek is being introduced to the idea of having to defend the borders. Noted. Also, can we get this bird? Oh, we got him. Good job. I don't think we can give Shade uh, the bird as a gift. I'm pretty sure if we hold it and like talk to Shade. Yeah, Shade is just one of the like NPCs that are going to roam around. They're not actually going to be uh, one of the characters that you can talk and befriend. So he'll he's going to just like roam here and kind of protect the edges of the camp. Uh, or excuse me, cough, cough, the colony. All right, and the prairie quarry. I'm very curious about this. Oh, there's a little white mouse. You're mine now. Sorry, little guy. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> You can just come straight up to this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so pretty. I wonder why there's like lamps in here. This is so interesting. All right. Oh my. Hello? What, what? What do you want? Uh, wait a minute. You're not a mole, you're a cat. Sorry to burst out at you like that. It's just you woke me up from my nap and I get real cranky when folk wake me up. Anywho, you look pretty confused. Let's get the introductions out of the way. I'm Molu. I run the Prairie Quarry. Got lots of laborers down the mines below us, digging for gems and other pretty looking rocks. We're always looking for more help if you got some time. Maybe you'd like to get your paws dirty too. If you can bring back some gems, I'll make sure you're rewarded. You'll probably have to dig deep before you start finding the good stuff though. You can mine by sweeping your claws at big rocks. I pay mole cash in exchange for gems. You could trade your mole cash at my shop for some of the stuff I've collected. Your mews are no good to me, but some of my laborers might be interested in them. The entrance behind me is where you want to start mining. Oh, and make sure to pack a lunch to take with you before you go in, since you'll get hungry fast mining those big rocks. I've heard there might be some bats in the lower level too. Hopefully they won't bother you, but you never know. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember, I pay mole cash for your gems, so bring them back to me. All right, so it is a second mine, you guys. In the alpha version of the game, we actually did work over at the mine that you can find over here, the Canyon Creek Mine. And we managed to get quite a bit of gemstones, actually. And I think that uh, this kind of like secret mole entrance cave is something Creek definitely would have never seen before. So she's probably pretty curious about what's going on here. And then let's go ahead and visit the mole cash shop and see exactly what Molu the mole might be selling. A warp to the prairie, another inventory expansion, a black hair for food, pink color if we want to become pink colored, a scarf, a red sweater, or I think maybe like a, yeah, I think that's like a, yeah, red and white sweater accessory. Uh, pink and white coloring, candy coloring, hmm, the warp pass, or the like the warp to the prairie and the inventory expansion really leap out at me. But I wonder, is there anything over here? This is interesting. Maybe just little decorative pieces. So and then we have the prairie mine. So how different is the prairie mine? <gasps> There's a mouse! I will get you a little mouse. Come here, your dinner now. <laughs> That's so useful. And then there's like a little bit of rock debris. I wonder if you can sell the rock debris. So we might do just a teeny bit of mining. I don't, I don't think our leader would actually appreciate some rock debris actually, which is unfortunate. There's spots where you can do a little bit. Oh, there we go. We'll go ahead and descend the staircase. All right. So Creek is investigating her first spot where she might learn a little bit more about what it takes to be a cat in this world. So let's come up here. 
some more rock debris. Maybe we can actually sell this rock debris to the mole, but I don't think it's gonna be anything. Shiny gemstones. Having grown up inside of Apple Clan's Borders in our Untold Tales series, I feel like Creek might remember the shiny things that her father used to collect and give to her mother. So she might be thinking about some of those things and she might be thinking, maybe if I give one to the clan or to the colony, cough, cough, leader, then the colony leader will like me. And I just really feel like Creek as a young cat unsure of her place and for the first time on her own would be very concerned about that just wanting to make sure that the leader of the colony really likes her so let's try to find a shiny thing for the leader of the colony and we can also sprint to speed up a little bit let's go ahead and eat that field mouse thank goodness we brought some food i think we can even eat some valerian i'm so excited i think that iridescent butterfly creek might try to give to the colony leader but i feel like she'd want to keep it for herself to be completely honest all right, and it looks like you get a little bit of experience when you're actually wiggling down in the mines because I just saw that a second ago. Like one EXP for getting down. Oh, there's another piece of rock debris. We might have to leave in a second and all we have is rock debris. I don't want to have to give the leader our shiny pretty butterfly, but that might be the only thing we have to offer. All right, descend again. All right, we're at level five now. Maybe things will start getting a little bit more intense. Let's see. And then there's this one, okay. There's a whole bunch of rocks over here, so we should probably go for the spots where there's a bunch of rocks in the same spot. There we go. Oh, oh, guys, I see a bat. I see a bat. It, he's gonna come get us. Wait, come on, come on, Creek, you can do it. There you go. I want my shiny things. Da -na 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 -na. And if you get deep enough in the mines, if, if it's the same as what happened in the alpha, then you can actually go ahead and have a special warp down. I don't think you need to go at least 10 levels. Maybe it's 10 levels. Maybe it's 50. <laughs> I don't remember, but let's just keep going. Basically, the best thing to do early on is just to go down as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and sprint. No point in wasting that skill if it's available. Are these hands? Oh my gosh, that like stalactite, or excuse me, the stalagmite looked like a hand for a second and it kind of start, like shocked me. All right, there's another mole coin that some lazy mole has left behind. But we'll have to see. I really, and I'm curious because I, I saw in the beta version of, of the cattails like video and in some of the uh, sneak peeks that they actually gave over on the Twitter, I'm pretty sure I saw pirate treasure and I really, 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 really want to find out where that pirate treasure was. But let's see if getting down to level 10 will actually allow our young creek. And let's go ahead and eat this crow that she brought with her. And maybe use the golden seal? Nah, golden seal didn't do anything. All right, we'll try using Valeria next time. But let's see if we can find our way to level 10. And maybe level 10 is the level that lets us stay. Like you can you can save with the mole and then, oh, there we go. Okay, let's see what happens if we go to level 10. All right, this is level 10. Are we gonna get anything special down here? Are we gonna be able, oh, here's level 11. Here we go. So you can see the rocks change their color and their pattern. <gasps> and a shiny thing. All right, we got a little bit of gold. Wonderful. Well, all right, guys, I think, oh, and there we go. Yes, the best thing to do when you first reach the mines is just follow your curious cat self all the way down and go as far as you can. Don't even worry about those other rocks because the deeper you go into the mines, the better. So I think, oh, look at how lucky she is. I knew Creek would be a natural when it comes to this kind of adventure. Wonderful. And there's a little bat coming to chase us. Hopefully we'll be able to get our way out of here before the bat gets us. All right, go little Creek, go. But I will see you guys next time, I think, and we will resume once Creek finds something a little bit deeper in the pines or some new mystery and hopefully we'll be able to start building up a bit of a relationship with some of the other cats too but so far so good i hope we don't run out of food i hope we don't run out of food i hope we don't end up getting in a, a vicious angry battle yes <laughs> with bats but all right i'm gonna see if we can get her down to level 20 or level 25 whichever level it is that will unlock the ability 
and I think she's uh, starting to unravel her first mystery. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.